Hello everyone, I'm Brian. Today I'm doing a reaction to Should Modern Hindus Hold On to Traditional Values? Hashtag Hinduism. So, I, uh, I don't know what are the traditional values that Hindus have. Generally speaking, they tend to be good, but I don't know what they are, so let's go ahead and give this video a shot. Uh, what I mean by they tend to be good is, generally speaking, certain traditional values tend to be good. Now, there are obviously going to be some bad ones, but uh, again, I don't know what uh, Hindu's traditional value is. There are some traditional value in Western culture that can be bad, <laughs> and there are a lot that are pretty good. But again, you know, it just depends on what you mean. You can't, you can't say all of them, because I don't know what all of them are. That even applies to any tradition, traditional values. We are simply saying <clears throat> the ideas that you acquired in Hindu religion, the idea of spirituality, etc., are very important to, turn, to be turned into practice. How do you do that? What you learned, you must put into practice. So the way you start is start at home. So the way you look at other family members should immediately reflect what you studied in Hinduism. This is the tradition that you come from. So idea of respect, discipline, etc., which you see in the Hindu homes, are crucial and important and should not be abandoned just because you are modern. Molden, maybe modern. I, I don't know if molden means something in particular. I assume he means modern, just because you're modern, like you know, traditional being something very old just because you're modern now that you shouldn't lose it and I agree with them you know doing it at home makes it a lot easier starting very very simple and then expanding out on it um, did I do that kinda yeah actually I mean I guess it was kinda easy for me <laughs> just because I, I was kind of like that already so it just kinda fit in <laughs> it wasn't difficult but don't get me wrong that doesn't mean I'm perfect in any way it's just that I do have some of those tendencies but still I make mistakes. <laughs> One other thing I must point out. You see, if you look at the animal kingdom, it says we are moving from the animal to the human, and from the human you want to move to the divine. This is the enterprise called Hinduism. Now, in the animal kingdom, you notice one thing. When, the, you heard, you know, when animals or even insects have children, they look after them like anything. You see a little bird kind of, kind of you know, waiting for his mommy to feed it and go, ah, and the mommy is feeding and starving herself, feeding the babies. So in animal kingdom, you see tremendous effort put by the parents to look after their children, or the youngsters, or the off offspring. Understandable. Now we have moved from the animal to the human kingdom. Unfortunately, the same thing continues to apply. But in animal kingdom, you know what's the difference? In animal kingdom, if you are an elderly person, so an elderly lion, in a, in, a, in a pack of lions, they will cast you aside. They won't let you share the food when they go hunting. They say you are, you are outdated. So they'll, they'll throw you out of the pack. In the animal kingdom, they don't look after their elderly. They cast them aside. They only look after the babies. But the, the, the elderly people, they're seen as unnecessary, and they're cast away. Hopefully, when we enter the human kingdom, we will learn of a lesson, and we don't say, okay, only children are important. Who cares for the old age people? Who cares for the elderly, the parents and the grandparents? Chuck them in the old people's home. See, we are done. We have just followed the animal example. In the human kingdom, the way you judge yourself, look, I'm telling you in any family, I'm telling you, and you can check out your own families. The amount of time and effort you give towards your children, or towards your offspring, should be matched by the time and effort you give to your old elderly people in your family. Check it out in your families. You'll be surprised. 90% of the Hindu homes will go out of their way to look after the children. The parents will starve themselves to take the children to the tuition and take them to the top schools and drive them up and down. They'll kill themselves, they'll starve themselves to, for, to, for you to come to Eton. But when you look at the way they look after the elderly, they're cast aside. They hardly see them once a month or once a week. When you see that, I'm telling you, they lost the Hindu value, the Hindu plot. It's not only you look after your children, you look after your elderly at the same time, the same dignity, the same amount of effort and money, time and money spent on them. When you do that, that means you evolved out of the animal <coughs> kingdom into the human, otherwise you're still operating in the animal kingdom. You moved into a human kingdom. See, I'm just showing you human values, the Hindu values. We should not abandon them just because we are modern and we say the Western society doesn't care. So why should we care? Oh. This is your tradition. This is your deep, deep ideas. Not only look after in animal kingdom, you look after your children. In the human kingdom, children as well as your elderly family members. You must do that. 
free e-learning course. <clears throat> okay, I will say, well, of course, it depends on which animal kingdom, but generally speaking, it's right. You look at the lions. If not even if you're too, not even if you're somewhat old or weak, you would be in the lions part. You will get kicked out by younger or stronger lions. But you look at the elephants. Although I've been watching nature stuff lately, so this is kind of amazing. This cropped up. <laughs> it's how ironic. But anyways, I think in the elephants, it's a matriarchal-led society. But I think the males are kicked out. But the elderly females, I believe they stay with the elderly, the older females stays the leader of the pack. I guess just whenever they die, then the next older one will lead the pack, I think. <clears throat> but I am curious about the, the male elephants. I think they're kicked out. <laughs> so not quite, um, not quite the right thing to say, but kind of. And then you look at turtles, sea turtles, um, obviously, uh, I, I, again, documentary where they, they go to an island, they plant their eggs in the ground, and they just leave, and that's it. Don't take care of the child or anything. The child just knows to go to the water, and that's it. <laughs> they don't, you know, feed. So, uh, obviously, depending on the kingdom, for sure. But yes, I mean, he ain't wrong there. Is this true in terms of modern, I guess, India, perhaps, where they kind of don't... I want to say don't look after, but maybe don't visit. I think that's what it sounds like it's saying. It's like they don't see their parents very often. And I says that's very much true in kind of in America as well. And then he did point that out. It's like, no, you don't be like Americans or Westerners. <laughs> it's kind of sad, but it, it's it's kind of true, you know. It is a, it's a bit of a busier life, even though you have a lot of modern technology, but yet still a very busy life. And what I mean by that is like dishwasher, you don't have to hand wash dishes anymore, you don't need to hand wash clothes anymore, you have a washing machine for both the clothes and the dishes. You don't need to hang dry them anymore, you have a dryer. What else? You don't have to wash your car anymore, there's automated car washing. Like there's a lot of things that's automated in the car, in the house now, you know, you don't have to vacuum your house anymore, there's automated robot vacuums, they'll, va they'll map out your house. Depending on, there's a couple of different methods. There's one vid video camera, there's one with LiD LiDAR, which is no camera. It's just a laser that maps it out and remembers it. <clears throat> so it can vacuum your house. Can't do the walls yet, so. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of crazy. A lot of things are being automated and being very easy, yet somehow we just don't have time. Hmm. So is that is that kind of true in India, I suppose? Is that is that becoming a thing where, you know... I guess younger people are not seeing their, their parents or their elderlies, and I, I, I completely understand it over here in the United States, it's kind of like that too. Especially in these times, I mean these times it's kind of crazy. Or maybe even these times you 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 might be forced to go back home, because <laughs> it's so expensive. It's crazy. Anyways, that's my reaction to, should modern Hindus hold on to traditional values? So again, depending on what the traditional values are, generally speaking, they tend to be good. Um, obviously, they got us this far for certain traditional values. Again, I can't say all of them because I don't know what all of them are, and I'm sure not all of them are great. <laughs> and this applies to just any uh, culture that has traditional values anyway. But anyways, if you like my content, please consider subscribing, thumbs up, and sound down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next vid.